Hey guys, this is Josh. Today we're going to talk about the different tapes that we use in the field. This is white painter's tape. It's the cheapest tape that you can purchase and it's only meant for indoor use. Um, this is specifically meant for paper to paper or just quick taping. Thing is, you have to get this off within one day or it will transfer adhesive. This is orange tape. This has more adhesive than our white tape, it has a stronger bond. Once again, this is only meant for indoor use and this is supposed to be taken off within three days, otherwise it will transfer adhesive. Hey guys, this is our blue tape. This is meant for exterior use, reason being it has UV protection. This is safe on surfaces for up to 14 days. After that, it will transfer adhesive. Once again, this is best for an exterior application. This is our rough surfaces green tape. This tape has more adhesion and more glue than all these other tapes that I've already introduced. This stuff is good for three days on an exterior application and five days on an interior application. We especially use this when using with lacquers because it has a special adhesive that is resistant to solvents. This is our 3M delicate surface tape. This is a light purple and it used to be blue with an orange cardboard core. Anyhow, this tape is extremely expensive. It's almost $10 per roll, but it's extremely important to use when working with delicate surfaces. For example, freshly varnished floors or a freshly varnished door or maybe walls that weren't primed correctly. Anything that you potentially think could peel. So when masking off delicate surfaces, this is the only tape that we use. That being said, the best way to use this is to put this down first and then use your tape and paper machine and or tape and plastic with any of these, specifically the white tape, and that allows you to put plastic or paper to a delicate surface. Hey guys, lastly, we have our frog tape. This is excellent stuff. It's a bit pricey. It's always north of $10 per roll, and it comes, as you can see, in this little package here. This tape is only sold in this package. The reason being is that this tape is specially formulated to leave an extremely crisp, clean line. And that is done with their paint block technology. It's the equivalent of caulking your tape in. Now, this stuff comes in the package because that special technology cannot get wet or it will be activated. The green version of this tape, not to be confused with our rough surfaces, lacquer tape can be used 21 days on an interior application and seven days on an exterior application. It also comes in a yellow version. That can be used 30 days interior or exterior and has the same qualities as a delicate tape. Hey guys, this is Josh. This is a very common tool found in almost any painter's toolbox. This is our masking machine. This masking machine is meant to be used in conjunction with six, nine, or 12 inch masking paper and either one inch or two inch tape. Now, typically we wanna use this machine with one inch tape. Reason being is we want a very small strip of sticky adhesive going on to whatever needs to be masked off. As you can see, that is approximately a half inch of blue tape that's gonna be applied to whatever we're covering. Now, for whatever reason, if we need to go ahead and have a little bit more tape surface on what we're masking, we can change it out. And the way that we make sure that the tape cuts clean is we adjust the blade. So the blade is currently set for one inch tape. And if we're gonna be using two inch tape, we take this blade off and we move it over just a half inch and now you can see it's adjusted. I'm gonna show you guys an application of blue tape on a masking machine, as well as our interior white tape. So imagine that this white sheet is a floor and we've already covered it with rosin paper. We've laid out our rosin paper to protect the floors. Now what we're gonna do is take the one inch tape on the masking machine and secure it to the edge of the floor. For example, this is the baseboard. Lay that down. After that's complete, 
we take our one and a half inch white tape, we secure the masking paper to the rosin paper, and then we're also able to tape the seams of the rosin paper as well. This is the proper application for our generic white tape.